Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Just thought I'd come on and do a haul video. I was out and about today, I had to go to town for an appointment, so I decided to do some shopping while I'm at it. Why not? I haven't been in a reject shop for oh, ages. Prior Christmas, even before that, possibly November, possibly even before that. I have no idea when I was last at reject shop. Isn't that dreadful? Um... <laughs> they had new scrappy stuff um so i decided to grab a few things i needed some more craft glue i like this craft glue because i like the tip on it it comes completely closed so i can just put a pin prick in it and i can have a really fine um lot of glue and this is like a gel glue so it's really really um not runny which is really good now i can't get the cap back on why is the cap not going back on because i'm having one of those days That's weird. Okay, I will deal with that after the video. But usually the cap just, or does it screw back on? No? Really weird. Usually the cap just goes back on. Okay, I'll deal with that after the video. Weird. It's a different cap too. Maybe it's the wrong cap. Weird. Okay. Then this was new, so the glue's been there for a while. This is spray adhesive. This was, I think, $8, 6 or $8. Um, I thought it'd be great to spray on my stencils on one side, let it go tacky, and then it would, like, stick to things um, when I'm inking and stuff. And also it'd be great to have a spray adhesive. So I thought I would try that out. Obviously, I have to do it outside. Then I was excited to see they had new die-cut packs. Now, I often buy these and don't use them. This year, I'm determined to use them. So this is their Salt and Sunset scrapbooking kit. So the Reject Shop used to um, sell these individually. So you've got die cuts, you've got paint and papers and stickers. So if I flip this over, you get a little bit of an overview. That glare is terrible. So this is more like a um, beachy travel one. So let's have a look at well the papers because they're already out. So they're all stuck together. These packs were $8, um, which was really good. So I've got seashells. Looks like we're two of eight. What have we got? It says on the back. Let me look. 18 designs, two sheets of each, so 36 papers, and six foiled sheets. I don't know if that's six foiled sheets, including the 36 probably. So we've got, ooh, foil. So we've got seashells. We've got foily stripes. It's a bit pastel for my liking, but I still did like the designs. We've got florals, some... What are they? Just lines, beachy ones, seagulls. Oh, they're kind of cute. So two seagulls. This one's spoiled as well. That's pretty. Um, looks like the bottom of a pool. Some more flowers. Some neutral ones. The neutral ones would be good. This one's spoiled as well. This one says, happy days, summer, relax, all sorts of words. And only some of the words are foiled. Really hard to see. Palm leaves. I usually like strong things, strong colours like this. Uh, and then we've got mermaids. So it's got a little bit of mermaids in it, but not overly mermaidy, which was good. Some lines that look like school lines. Trees. This is beautiful. Um, basket weavy stuff and pink florally leaves. So they are really, really cute papers. One good thing about having them in the packs like this is, I'll do that later, um, you don't have to go searching for which item goes with which item, which was a bit of a pain sometimes, um, or if they didn't get all of the items. So then we've got some sticker sheets. I believe we've got four to six how many sticker sheets. Oh, nice piece of corrugated cardboard in the back. Obviously used for packaging, but that'll come in handy. Um, so we've got some stickers, all sorts of... Ones with foil, and I find these really hard to read because of my vision. Um, a few more. Unplugged and on offline, that's a really good one. Um, lazy days. Something. Oh, good book, good food, good times. Got some more little sayings. One. What's this one? It's okay to make mistakes, to have bad days, to be less than perfect, to do what's best for you, to be yourself. Oh, I love that. That is really cool. With you, I'm completely happy. Every moment is favourite. And then we've got a sheet of stickers. And these ones are actually cut. 
without white lines which are fairly cool so some of these are foiled as well which is really cute so i'll just flip these over and we can have a look at the die cuts so this particular pack said it had 101 die cuts looks like you only get one of each these are quite small um bunch of little words a seagull is really cute i like the seagull um, a beach scene so they are on the rather small side tags and pictures and oh my god little shells no wonder i've got 101 another little seagull i have to use him somewhere some stars oh is that a boat that's a boat surf little frames that pop out sunglasses some words i won't read the words because they're a bit hard for me to read the foil ones um some beachy stuff some flowers more flowers in a bunch some leaves more leafy things more leafy things oh an anchor bike bike's kind of cute seahorse what is that supposed to be oh that's a jug obviously a drink flowers 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 there's a saying the most cherished moments happen when good friends and family come together that's a cute seahorse oh mermaid not seahorse mermaids the mermaids are cute they're not too cartoony ticket all words another little mermaid tickets 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 oh the cute little scooter um some um coral bathing suit what's that some more coral what's it supposed to be bars of flowers i think some more leaves so lots of cute little bits and pieces to craft with some of them are a bit tiny for my liking because i'll probably end up losing half of them before i can use them i'll have to go find a ziploc bag to put them into let's just put them back into there but the other one i loved and the other one I actually grabbed two sets of because it was really really cute that one only got one of them. trying to be good so this is an australian one this is called australiana scrapbook kit which i like the look of i'm trying to get that not get the glare but get it up close so it's sort of pastel <coughs> oh excuse me I'll see if I can edit out my sneeze if I remember. Let's have a look at the papers first. So this is, again, a bit pastel for usually my liking, but I'm trying to expand my things this year. So beautiful Australian florals with the, is it the Waratah? Some cross-hatching. These will make some gorgeous cards. Um, did we get two of that? Yes, we did. Some more foliage. Some gingham. Excuse my sniffling. I've been out today and with the trees and the rain it's picked up the pollen this one's got galahs on it which is really cute some painty ones oh koala bears are cute i've got some really cool napkins i might be using this with um soon some like beach one floral war i think that's a waratah correct me if i'm wrong oh like a dry riverbed that looks really cool more pastels this one's got sparkles on it that's pretty almost don't want to cover that one up um, stripes with foils, stars. Oh, the Australian map is cute. Do we have Bendigo on it? Nope. Looks like it's an old world map. It's got 1859 on one of them. 1841, that may be when the states were done. 1851 for Australia. Really old map. And the wood grain is really cute too. Oh, excuse the sniffling, really. I do like the corrugated cardboard in the back. That's going to be cool. And some really cool stickers. I'll pop the head of the kangaroo with the foliage in it. Koala. More kangaroos. No place like home. Oh, happy day. G'day. My favourite place. And then we've got these ones, which is beautiful with the florals and the animals and the wombat. Oh, just so cute. Proud to be an Australian. I just, these was just beautiful, this set. When you love who you're with, you have everything you need. Definitely. My home, my heart, just a whole lot of celebrate ones, and these are just gorgeous. These ones have got a white backing, but they've got a white backing, not a white edge. So these are just gorgeous. So I will have fun using these. Let's do this. Let's have a look at the die cuts. These ones don't have as many because they're bigger. This is not the backing card. This one over here is 74 die cuts. This die cut on the front just got me. Whoops, there's a gold leaf in there. I'll leave that in there. There's a cup. This is just gorgeous. I wish I could have got, and that's just beautiful too. I wish I could have got more die cuts singly, but they're packaging like this now. Maybe I just have to buy more sets. 
I thought eight dollars was quite reasonable for this because usually when you buy the whole three things it's like nine or ten dollars individually so we've got some things in a vase some more beautiful florals oh gorgeous kookaburra gorgeous galar I think it is 100% Aussie kangaroo kangaroo so this one's very floral another kangaroo and the animals are really nice what's this in a jar oh pretty um floral some more gum leaf type things kangaroo more water and they're, they're sort of watercolory look which is really really nice camera wombat love the wombat tag another jar of flowers kangaroo um favorite your young and free oh an aussie map and hey it has tasmania it's a bonus house family fit ever friends and lots of sayings another little house oh and another pile over here um some envelopes some more florals these are the little stuff some leaves some koala oh, some little road signs as i said half this little stuff i'll probably lose postage stamp butterfly more leaves oh god they do tiny die cuts now um little thing that says by airmail oh that'll be cute i don't do a lot of swaps overseas now because postage has just gone up cute and cuddly cute and cuddly my heart belongs here australian adventure road trip and a beautiful tag so they will be lovely i'll put those back in the bag in a minute and i also went to the discount store and just picked up three things I picked up some doilies i know i do have some but i don't know where they are I picked up this little spiral scrapbooking kit. I'm going to open this. This was only $4.50. I'm challenging myself to work small. It, I don't like small things. I don't like card making. I'm So I'm deliberately buying things that will challenge me to work small. And also when I only have a small amount of time, I can do a little page or a little project and get it completed other than a big scrapbook page. I'll probably end up taking the ribbon off because it will be covered in stuff. But I wanted to see... Oh, it's stuck to the front. I want to see. Oh, it's quite nice paper. Does that actually say on it? It didn't actually say on it how thick the paper was, but I can always glue two together. 15 by 15, so it's 6 by 6. So I thought this would be fun just to do little, little things on if I've only got a little amount of time. Challenge myself to work little this year. And I thought with the spiral bound it would be easy to remove pages if I do, like if it gets bulky. And I thought black would be fun too. Um, I only found one of those. I don't know. I just found it sitting on a, um, a weird spot on the shelf and I thought, oh, that looks like fun. Then I grabbed a stamp set. I have zillions of stamp sets, but I liked this font and it was only $3. Um, so a clear stamp set. I just like the font on that one. And then I picked up some craft paper. This was $11.54. I'll see how many papers in a minute. 50 sheets of A4 size. Um, it's a thinner craft paper. I've got craft cardstock, but I find in my art journal I want the thinner craft paper. I see one of um, a couple of Instagrammers I watch do white drawings or stencil with a white pen through their stencil and make embellishments in the craft, and it looks really, really cool, so I want to try that. I should get off YouTube and start doing more stuff because I see all this stuff, go and buy it, and never get time to do it. But I can't wait to have fun in my little journal. I reckon at the moment I'm not having huge amounts of snippets of time to actually sit down and create. So I thought maybe a small journal I could sit down and create something and achieve something. And I'll film some of those if I um, do get time in my chair to sit and film. That is all from me today. I'm hoping to be a bit more regular on this channel. I'm just swamped with work at the moment and paperwork and medical stuff for Alexis yes she's fine it's just a lot of a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff for me at the start of the year trying to get organized with government departments I'll put it that way um you can probably guess what government departments they are um it's just very time consuming getting things organized and trying to get things organized for this year um plus we can get um do a lot more this year than we could last year with the restrictions so everything we put off last year we're gonna get done this year complicated and busy but we're getting there so i'm hoping to be more regular on this channel putting up some videos getting some process videos done but i am coming into my busy work season so that's kicking off in a couple of weeks with our first event for the year um so <laughs> we'll see how that goes i film a lot for work now and by the time i sit down to film for this personal channel it gets a bit gets a bit um time poor but we'll see how we go definitely want to have a play with these die cuts i think i might use these for work um 
I'll leave a link to my work channel below because it might be a bit more active than this one lately so you can combine both. This one is more about me playing with whatever products. Yes, I may use some of my products, but I'm not specifically promoting them. Um, the other work channel is where I specifically use my products and do more sort of class style things and um, things. Things, I'll put it that way. Um, some of them cross over a bit like this. Sometimes I use my own stuff in these videos as well. But it's more about, this one's more about play and just having fun, this video. And I'll have to get Alexis to come on to another video soon. Long overdue for Alexis and Melinda Crafty video. Thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to all the new subbies we've had come on board lately. And welcome if you're new. Um, stick around for lots of fun and antics on this channel because we usually get up to lots of fun stuff. We'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.